Good morning, Card Beauty Star RJ. Again, coming back with another video. Let's get to it. Again, everything I'm showing off this week has has come to me from a, an RAK package from Kevin over at Kevin's Budget Card Breaks. Take a look at his link in the description below. So today's Mike, today's random Mike Schmidt item of the day. Kevin was kind enough to send me. This 1992 Classic Best Mike Schmidt card. Classic Best was released in packs and as a complete set, uh, highlighting several minor league players around uh, baseball back at the time. Uh, this is part of the base set. It's numbered 100 out of the base set. You can find it in packs or in the complete set. Thing is, I already had that one. Uh, not only did I already have that one, I have... The limited edition autographed insert set. This one's numbered to 4,100. 4, but I still love getting great cards. And I appreciate Kevin for thinking about me. Uh, maybe I'll make this, uh, put this up for trade on the tradingcarddatabase.com or make it a trivia prize someday. We'll see. Today's random baseball item of the day. Showing off two cards of a former Phillies pitcher, Kevin Millwood. These came in uh, Kevin's package. Kevin Millwood started out with the Braves. He was a pretty good pitcher. If you take a look at some of the numbers, winning 17 games and 18 games early in his career. And just before we traded to him, he went 18 and 8 with a 324 ERA. And oftentimes, you know, getting decent strikeout to walk ratios and whatnot. Uh, this one here is his uh, Fleer 2003 Fleer EX, a little acetate, cool card. This one here is, as you can see here, 2003 Fleer Genuine card. Um, his, let's just say that for the Phillies, he didn't perform as well as he had for the Braves. He didn't throw a no-hitter for the Phillies one year, which was kind of cool. Uh, but one of the typical trades the Phillies made of a star quality who suddenly lost his luster when he came to the Phillies, or it often worked in the reverse as well, that he had nothing when he was with the Phillies, but the second we traded him to somebody else, suddenly he became a star, a.k.a. Fergie Jenkins, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, uh, I want to show off some cards, more cards that Kevin sent to me. Uh, but first, the trivia question for today. This one's going to take a little investigatory, investigatory work on your part if you're interested in, uh, um, should I say, entering this one. In the background there, you see the two cards that are the prizes. I'm going to give away two extra cards from the uh, this year's 1987 throwback style. These are extra ones I have already that Kevin sent. Kristen Yelch and Ricky Henderson. I already had those as part of my current set attempt to complete the whole set. But the trivia question is kind of odd. I haven't done this before, but let's see how close you pay attention. Behind that up on the wall is my plaque of Phillies all-time greats. I kind of swap that out once in a while. I'm actually going to switch out some of the cards and go with just retired numbers of Phillies because right now there's seven. And I'll uh, throw another one up there later on. But... The, uh, the you can see four cards in front of you there on the wall. There's four others above that. Let me tip, tilt it up. There's the eight of them right there. But in reality, typically the way I frame out my shot, you can only see those bottom three, bottom four cards. Now, if you've watched long enough, you'll know and you'll note that one of the cards has changed re recently. Um, now, it's odds are you can't read the names. I'm not going to zoom in so you can read the names. I will say what you see there is Chuck Klein on the left, Hall of Fame Philly from the uh, 20s and 30s. Chase Utley is next to him, uh, second from the left. Chase Utley, everybody knows, a great second baseman, borderline Hall of Famer from the 2008 World Series team. Second from the right is... Jimmy Rollins, who should be in the Hall of Fame, hopefully soon, well-deserving of it. He has the most hits ever by any Philly. He has four MVP, 
you know, a, just a class act in baseball. Jimmy Rollins is well deserving of Hall of Fame recognition. And then on the left is Darren Dalton, uh, not a Hall of Famer, but part of the uh, 93 great teams and a legend here in Philly. That's his 1993 Tops Black Gold card up there. So those are the four Phillies who are at the bottom level. One of those cards has changed recently. Tell me which player, and I've just named them for you, so tell me which player has a new card up there that wasn't there before. Truth is, the reason that new card is up there is because I got it from Kevin. Um, so I'll take answers, like always, for today and tomorrow. Email me the correct answer. I'll include my email along with a repeat of the, of the question in the description below. And then I will let you know. We'll pull a random drawing, random name out of the uh, pack, or out of the picker wheel on Sunday. And we will send off those two 1987 style cards, all right? So today I want to show off, so like I said, some more of the uh, great stuff I got from Kevin in his break. Not his break, I should say his random act of kindness. There's three players that I guess he had tons of cards of these three players, mostly because they were the star players of uh, various eras of the Phillies history. We'll start with the 2008 team. Uh, this guy was on the 2008 team, won a World Series ring with us, moved on to Tampa the next year, uh, and then on to um, San Francisco the following year and won another ring. And it is left fielder Pat Burrell. And all these cards are Pat Burrell cards. So I'm not going to attempt to tell you which set they are. There are so many different sets represented here. It is funny to see how young Pat Burrell looks in some of the older cards compared to how I remember him from the 80, or from the 08 World Series team. A little heavier, a little slower. Uh, but he looks like a young stud in some of these cards, you know. So there's all kinds of great um, Pat Burrell cards in this set. I got doubles of some. I think what I will might do given how many crazy Phillies cards I now own of uh, various players. I'm going to go through and keep the ones I need for my all-time Phillies set because again I remember I'm trying to get one card of every Philly player who ever played and I might just send on the others to a couple friends in the hobby that I know who are huge Philly collectors. So Burrow played right around from 99 through 2008 with the Phillies. Also have here some Bobby Abreu cards. Bobby played from roundabout. What did he, we traded for him. There was it. Okay, so we, we got him over in 98, if you look at this card. And then he played up until, uh, I don't know, mid-2000, like 2004 or five, something like that, before then we traded him to the Yankees. So we got Bobby Abreu cards again. All kinds of styles, more than I care to stop and uh, determine. I do like these. This is, uh, is an upper deck ovation, I believe this is called. And I got three of these because it's actually like you can feel the embossed. The way they did the card is an embossed card. So you can feel the stitching. It's raised a bit from the other portions of the card. I always like that style. Uh, just isn't something I have bothered to try and collect a full set of that. Uh, nice Topps Gallery card. I do love the gallery cards of that day, too. So there are your Bobby Abreu cards. Love seeing him in the old uniform, too. The powder blues are still a well-known feature of Phillies baseball. And then what I got the most of is some Scott Rowland cards, who's a future Hall of Famer in my book. This one's actually like a pre-rookie. This is like a um, minor league card of his, the Martinsville Phillies. Roland is one of those guys who, I mean, everybody, when we got him on the Phillies, everybody knew this guy was special. He was going to be a, a stud for years to come. That was like a, this was a serial number card. I know there are a couple of Roland serial numbered cards in this one. This was like a foil version of the actual card. I remember this set. I know that that's a foil version one. But um, 
There's a Elite Donruss with a serial number on the back. Roland was a stud. He was incredibly good. And he came to the Phillies when the Phillies were absolutely abysmal and didn't seem have didn't didn't seem to have any desire at all to to make this take, take the next step and uh, step up to the plate and build a winner. And he could see it. Roland could see it. He was right. He was not wrong in his assessment of the Phillies. They were not going out to put a winner together. They were just treading water. Here's an interesting one. It's actually Chipper Jones, but it's rolling on the back of this card. So yeah. Uh, Shout out to Adam over Adam's card closet. Adam, is this something you need? Let me know. But uh, Roland did not want to be with the Phillies anymore. So when his um, free agent year came up, I mean, he flat out told him, he said, no, I, I don't want to play here. Trade me. Either trade me or, or I'm, I'm bolted in free agency. So they traded him. Uh, and it, he was right. Again, it took forever for the Phillies to put together a team. Uh, he was still playing during the 83 World Series, or not the, the 08 World Series team, Roland was still playing, uh, but his skills were diminishing. And he did win a World Series ring with the Cardinals later on. So um, I think for him personally, he made the best move. Uh, but I can say we at Philadelphia were very sad to see him go. Uh, and as you're wont to do, if, you, if, you, if, if, if a player does a little diss to Philly. They don't ever forget. So Roland was promptly booed a lot of times when he came back to Philly. That's just the way the, the, way the Phillies uh, community rolls. You, you, like like Jason Worth when he left. You, you want to diss Philly and go for greener pastures and say nothing, it could be better somewhere else? The people here don't, don't take kindly to that. And they let you know it. So uh, they're probably right in a lot of ways. But anyway... So there you have it, uh, another showcase of some of the cool things I got. Again, the trivia question, a very odd style trivia question today. Which of the four cards on the wall there has changed recently? Um, yeah, again, check the description below for all that stuff. So again, I want to thank everybody for stopping by and taking a moment to, to um, check out my channel. I appreciate it. All the support you guys give me. I try my best to support the rest of the community. Uh, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, and all that jazz. And I will do the same to the best of my ability. Thanks for stopping by. I hope to see you again on Friday. You got another uh, cool prize to give away. More trivia questions. Uh, more Phillies to show off. So, hope to see you all. Thanks for watching. Take care.